Hi everyone, I am Mrs. Esther Rani, Assistant Professor of English, Institute of Aeronautical Engineering, Hyderabad. I am here back with you with another uh, subtopic of transformation of sentences, simple compound complex. So now we are going to deal with the compound sentences. In the previous session, we have dealt with the simple sentence, clauses, phrases, simple sentence. So now we are going to deal with the compound sentences, which is another complex part of this module. So what is compound sentence? A compound sentence refers to a sentence made up of two independent clauses. In the previous session also, briefly we discussed about simple sentence, what is simple sentence, what is compound sentence and what is complex sentence also. So here, now we'll uh, deal with in detail with this compound sentence. A compound sentence again refers to a sentence which is made up of two independent clauses. Means two independent clauses which gives complete sense, complete sentence connected by another coordinating conjunction. Connected by another coordinating conjunction. Usually, what are coordinating conjunctions? We get a doubt. So, these coordinating conjunctions which combine the sentence, which club the sentences, two sentences, means two independent clauses clubbed by these coordinating conjunctions. Many coordinating conjunctions that we have, but only a few coordinating conjunctions that we use in these compound sentences. They are for, and, nor, but, or, at, so. Very difficult to remember all these, isn't it? For and nor but or at s. So, how can we remember these uh, uh, coordinating conjunctions? Here I have given a small clue. Like we call these coordinating conjunctions fanboys. Fanboys. Is it not funny? So, here see, let me explain in detail about these. F stands for for. F stands for for. O stands for and. N stands for nor. Fan we can. Easily we can remember. F A N fan. For and nor. B stands for but. B stands for but. O stands for or. Y stands for et. S stands for so. Boys. Fanboys. Okay, is it not easy to uh, remember fanboys coordinating conjunctions with a small word, fanboys? So, once again, these are the coordinating conjunctions for and nor, but, or, at, so, which we call fanboys. So, these fanboys are coordinating conjunctions we use to combine two independent clauses. Two independent Clauses are two independent sentences. Okay. See here, uh, as, as an example, I have given a few sentences here. I was tired. I was tired. I went to bed early. So, I was tired is one sentence. I went to bed early is another sentence. I was tired. It's an independent clause. It need not depend on other sentence for its meaning. So, he went to bed. He went to bed early is also another independent clause which need not depend on other sentence. So, how can we club these two sentences as a, a compound sentence? So, I was tired. He was tired for he went to a bed early. So, we can connect with a for. I cooked dinner. Another sentence is I cooked dinner. I, and he washed dishes. He washed the dishes. These are another two sentences which are independent clauses. I cooked dinner is one sentence which is completely independent. I was, he was, he washed the dishes is another independent clause which were connected by and coordinating conjunction. Okay. I cooked dinner and he washed all the dishes. 
Jane has a red car. Another example here. Jane has a red car. Where we have subject, verb, predicate. We can say, uh, say that subject and predicate. Subject word and object with a adjective we have here. And the other sentence is Jill has a blue car. Jane has a red car. Jill has a blue car. Both are two independent sentences or independent clauses connected by but. Jane has a red car, but Jill has a blue car. So in this way, these are the fanboys is a word which stands for coordinating conjunctions for and nor but or act so. By using these, you see, we can club the sentences. Here, one more thing we have to remember two independent clauses connected by connected by coordinating conjunctions preceded by a punctuation mark that is comma. Every compound sentence must have two independent clauses. And both the independent clauses were joined together, joined together by coordinating conjunction. That coordinating conjunction must be preceded by a comma. So these are the four rules that you have to keep it in mind while uh, transforming the sentence. Okay. So here a few more examples that I would like to give you for better understanding. Okay. Joe waited for the train. Joe waited for the train means Joe is a subject. Waited for the train is a predicate. In this waited is a verb. Okay. And train was late. Train was late. So two independent clauses were clubbed by but coordinating conjunction. Okay. So I want to go to picnic. I am not well. I want to go to picnic. But I didn't go. Why? Because I am not well. So two independent clauses clubbed by or joined together by the coordinating conjunction but. Understood. And the third one is the dish was spicy. I ate it. Though the dish was uh, spicy, I ate it. Okay. Here we need to club or join two independent clauses. That is the dish was spicy. I ate it. Both the independent clauses were joined by at that is coordinating conjunction preceded by a comma. Understand? So in this way, by using coordinating conjunctions and placing punctuation mark comma before the coordinating conjunction, we can uh, like a give compound sentence. We can frame a compound sentence. Here also, I drink green tea. Here I have given a picture in a uh, slide. Two independent clauses. One is I drink green tea. They drink coffee. This is my choice, drinking green tea. And then their choice is they drink coffee. Both the sentences were joined together by coordinating conjunction but. But is preceded by a comma. So this is the method of joining two independent clauses. Okay. And now, see here, to transform a simple sentence into compound sentence to transform. Now we are talking about transformation of sentences from simple to compound. So while transforming a sentence from simple to compound, we need to follow a few rules. If we uh, follow a few rules, then it will become easy for us to transform a sentence from simple to compound sentence. Right? So the first rule is, if the simple sentence is starting that a person is doing two things, one after the other. I don't want to um, make it very complicated. In a sentence, if we have two things done by a person, one after the other, okay, the compound sentence will mention in the first thing, the first thing before the second thing and join them with a conjunction. See here, Means here in the first sentence, coming home, she had lunch. Is the simple sentence. Coming home, she had lunch. Means first she came home. She had lunch. Two simple sentences that we have. Okay. So these two simple sentences, we are combining or joining with a 
coordinating conjunction and means v1 plus ing verb plus ing form if you have in a simple sentences means when you have two sentences two things done by a person coming home is one sentence had lunch is another sentence if you have two sentences in that way starting word must be v1 plus ing if you have the starting word beginning word v1 plus ing coming going okay so in this way if you have v1 plus ing a sentence starts with a v1 plus ing then we have to go with and only okay here see she came home and had lunch she came home and had lunch see the next sentence going to the office going to the office i will write the article v1 ing here is go plus ing form if you have at the beginning of the simple sentence in a compound sentence i will go to the office and write and will write the article so if you have v1 plus ing in the simple sentence beginning with coming to the compound sentence two sentences will be joined by and conjunction and okay so third one going to the varsity she will do the class okay so in this way we can like uh, she'll go to the varsity and will do the class so in this way first rule is whenever you have two things done by a person simultaneously one after the other okay in a compound sentence you are going to join two sentences with and only this is rule number 1 okay and the next sentence sorry next rule rule number 2 if the simple sentence has besides being besides being if you find in the simple sentence besides being compound sentence must have not only but also you need not think like a you know complex way what to write how to write how can you, how, how can i understand this sentence how can i like a uh, uh, writer uh, the other form of a uh, coordinating conjunction no you need not uh, think all those things just see the simple sentence what you have there as a clue word what's the clue word here you see being besides being if you have besides being in the simple sentence coming to the compound sentence definitely you will be having not only but also only here you see besides being besides being beautiful besides being beautiful the girl is intelligent she means she is not only beautiful but also intelligent that's it nothing but so you just need not worry besides being if you have in a simple sentence compound sentence definitely it will be having not only but also not only but also that's it okay let us go for the next besides being brilliant student besides being a brilliant student she is a good singer means she is not only a brilliant student but also a good singer that's it okay but in a simple sentence you must have besides being besides being is nothing but the other word for not only but also okay so here in the compound sentence not only a brilliant but also a good she is not only brilliant but also good and the next sentence besides being a good writer besides being a good writer she is an outstanding lecturer she or he can write good in a nice way he is a good writer she is a good writer but not only this another quality also he or she has outstanding outstanding lecturer outstanding lecturer so in a compound sentence he is not only a good writer but also an outstanding lecturer outstanding lecturer is it clear so once again besides being if you have in the simple sentence compound sentence must follow by a not only but also 
easy to remember. Okay, it's not a complicated one. The next rule, third rule is, in a simple sentence, if you have in spite of, in a previous sentence, what we have seen besides being. Now, in spite of, if you have in spite of in a simple sentence, and the next compound sentence will be joined two sentences with a coordinating conjunction, but, but, okay. So, in spite of his poverty, in spite of his poverty, the postman never avoids his duty. In spite of his poverty, the postman never avoids his duty. So, as soon as you saw this, uh, in spite of, in spite of, in a, like a simple sentence, you can go with here, uh, club or join two sentences with coordinating conjunction, but. The postman is poor, but he never avoid his duties. Is it not a good tip for you to follow? Yes, definitely. And the next one is, in spite of his illness, in spite of his illness, he sat for the examination. He is ill, but even after that also, he sat for the examination. Without our knowledge, you see, if you understand the word, Ill, you can connect with the coordinated conjunction, what is required here. Okay, he is ill, but he sat for the exam. He sat for the exam. Okay, in spite of, once again, I want to give the clue as a third rule. In a simple sentence, if you find in spite of, then in the compound sentence, you can join two clauses with a but, coordinating conjunction, but. Clear? Yes. Next one, rule number four. In a simple sentence, if you have for, that is preposition. For having the result before it and the cause after. The result first and cause ne next. Then the compound sentence will contain conjunction the so or therefore. Bit hard to understand, no? Yes, I will explain with the help of a Example, here you see, the boss praised him, boss praised him for his hard work. So, as a rule, what did I say? Having the result before and cause after. First result and then cause later. Here you see, the boss praised. Why? Because he did hard work. What is the reason? Here reason is hard work. Okay, a result is boss praised. Understand? Ma? So, in a simple sentence, if you have two sentences, one is result, the other one is cause. But the results should be placed in the first and the like, cause next. Using preposition for. So, these three criteria, if you have in a simple sentence. In a compound sentence, you can join both the clauses by using so or for. Here you see, he worked hard. He worked hard, okay, that is cause, he worked hard, so the bo boss praised. He worked hard, so boss praised. Simple sentence, first result, next cause. Compound sentence, first cause, next result. Okay, another way of writing this is either he worked hard, therefore the boss praised. You can use either so or therefore. Clear? So, another sentence I have given here to see. The singer is very popular among people for her sweet voice. What is the reason here? Sweet voice is the reason for the popularity. See, sweet voice is the reason for the popularity. So, here we have used for also. What we need in simple sentence, three criteria are there. Two sentences parallelly going side by side. One is a cause, the other, other one is a result. So, clubbed by for. If you have this, you see, uh, we can convert this sentence or transform this sentence into compound sentence by using so or therefore. The singer's voice is sweet. So, here cause will come first. Cause will come first in the compound sentence and result later. Result later. 
the singer's voice is sweet so she is very popular among the people you can even you can use therefore also the singer's voice is sweet therefore she is very popular among people clear and then we'll go for the next rule five if the simple sentence has two having result and cause as uh, we discussed in the previous rule that is rule number four so if the simple sentence has two in the previous sentence we have four here if you have two having a result and cause one after the other the compound sentence always must have and and okay so she came to meet me she came here to meet me she came here and met me in a compound sentence we use she came here and met me what is the result and cause here meeting is the cause coming is result okay so here she came here and met me in the previous sentence result will come first and the cause later in the compound sentence but here it say we need not change this okay and he studied hard to get good marks he studied hard to get good marks he studied hard and got good marks what is the cause here studied what is the result got good marks that's it clubbed with the coordinating conjunction and clear na so the next one is next rule sixth rule in a simple sentence if you have in the event of being what is the phrase here in the event of being see here if the simple sentence has in the event of being the compound sentence will follow the structure like person must not be means person means subject must not be or must be positive either positive or negative adjective it should be followed by adjective and then or or otherwise and then objective okay with the help of the uh, example you can understand in a better way i think in the event of being late so this must be there in the simple sentence in the event of being late you will not be allowed to participate in the meeting in the event of being late you will not be allowed to participate in the meeting so here while converting or transforming the sentence into compound sentence you must not be late you here is see what did we uh, discuss a person must a person means here you that is subject you followed by must not be late adjective must not be and or or otherwise you must not be late or you will not be allowed to participate in the meeting or you must you must not be late otherwise you will not be allowed to participate in the meeting so in this way you can convert the sentence see the next sentence in the event of being lazy in the event of being lazy you will not be allowed uh, on the team you will not be allowed on the team if you convert that means in a simple sentence if you have in the event of being in the next sentence you can go with the or or otherwise uh, preceded by subject must not adjective subject must not adjective okay you is a subject here must not adjective is lazy okay you must not be lazy you must not be lazy or otherwise or you will not be allowed on the team you must not be lazy otherwise you will not be allowed on the team okay so this is rule number 6 means in a simple sentence if you have in the event of and the next a uh, compound sentence subject must not adjective or or otherwise and then objective clear the next see here i have given like uh, as a part of classroom activity i have given uh, one exercise go through this exercise go through this exercise where you have to change these are the simple sentences i have given because of the lack of time i couldn't uh, go with all these things 
So each of ten sentences I have given here. Now. Read or like uh, each and every sentence carefully, keeping in mind all the rules that we have discussed. Seven rules we have discussed. All seven rules you just keep it in mind while converting the sentence or transforming the sentence from simple to uh, like a compound sentence. What are the coordinating conjunctions that we have to use? If you have being. what conjunction that you have to use if you have in spite of if you have to if you have among in the simple sentence if you have v1 ing in the simple sentence if you have to in the simple sentence if you have like a like a in the event of in the simple sentence what like a, a coordinating conjunctions that we have to use while converting simple to compound sentence okay children here this will be possible if you do hard work on this in the first last session only i told you say this is a, a bit scary topic confusing topic uh, among all the grammar grammar topics among all transformation of sentences many that we have among all is a simple compound complex is very tough topic unless you like work hard in this unless you practice you cannot uh, do well even key also i have given here after doing this you see you can go through the key verify your answers and be confident in this thank you very much for for being with me till the end of this session in the next session we'll meet with a, another sub top uh, sub topic complex sentences thank you one and all all the best like share and subscribe hit the bell icon for more updates